Hi everybody. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to reflect a point and a line in a plane. So in our first example, we've been given the equation of this plane in scalar product form and the equation of a line in parametric form. We've been asked to find the coordinates of a reflection of point P when this is a position vector in the plane. And when we have questions like this, the first thing we need to do is to sketch a diagram. So we've got our plane pi and the line passing through it. We're told that the line has the equation negative 2, 1 and negative 1 for our position vector with our parameter and a direction vector of 3, 0 and 1. And we'll call this line 1. And we're told that the plane has this equation in scalar product form. And if you notice the coordinates of our reflected point P is a position vector in our line. So this point lies on this line. And we'll say it goes here. So when we reflect this point in a plane, then it goes through the plane to the other side. And it's the same distance on the other side of this plane. And we'll call this point, point Q. And we know the line connecting the two will be perpendicular to the plane. So we'll call the intersection between this line and the plane, point M, where the line and the plane are perpendicular. So because this line is perpendicular to a plane, we know it will have this normal vector. We know this normal vector will be the direction vector of this line. And you can see that we've got a position on the line. So if we call this line L2, then this will have the equation r is equal to the position vector plus a different parameter mu lots of this direction vector. So if we can work out mu, now we'll take us from p to m, then we can double this to work out from p to q. And then we can substitute this value of mu into the equation of this line, and that will give us the coordinates of point q. And we can work out this value of mu by dotting the general position vector of this line, r, substituting that into here, the equation of a plane, and then dotting it with a normal vector to make it equal 1. So we'll say that at m, the general position vector of line L2 is dotted with 1, 0, 1 to equal 1. And then we can dot these two together and then solve this equation to work out mu. We'll move a negative three to the right hand side and we'll collect the mu terms together. So two mu will equal four, and therefore at m, mu will equal two. So if we know that mu equals two to go from p to m, then to go from p to q, we'll substitute mu equals four into this equation. And this will give us the specific coordinates at point q. So we'll substitute 4 into here. We'll work out our x, y and z coordinates. And then we'll get the point Q at 2, 1 and 3. Okay. For part B, we're told that the line and pi intersect at a point 1, 1, 0. So that will be in this point here. I'll also label the points of Q we've just found here. Then we've been asked to find the reflection of the line L. So the reflection of this green line through the plane pi, so the line that passes through n and q. And we'll call this line L3. So to find the equation of this line, all we need is two points. Well, we've got q and we've got n, and we need a direction vector. And we can use n and q to find our direction vector. So we know n to q will be o to q, minus O to N. O to Q will be 2, 1, 3, given here, and O to N will be given here. So our direction vector and to Q will be 1, 0, 3. So L3 will be the position vector, which I could choose to be either of these two points. I'm going to choose point N, plus a parameter I'm going to call T, lots of our direction vector, 1, 0, 3. Okay, so this is the line of reflection of line L1 through the plane 
to create this line here. All we needed was a position vector, either n or q, and a direction vector, which we can find by these two points. Okay, so let's try another example. Okay, so in this example, we've been told that line L1 has this parametric equation, scalar product equation. We're told that the line L2 is a reflection of a line L1 in the plane, and we've been asked to work out the vector equation of a line L2. So again, the first thing we should do is just catch a diagram. So we'll call the line L1, and we'll give the equation of a plane in its scalar product form. So to find the equation of a reflected line, which we'll call L2, the idea is exactly the same. We'll take a point on L1, reflect it to get a point on L2, then we'll find where L2 intersects a plane. Then we'll have two points that lie on this line. So the first thing I'm going to do is to work out where L2 intersects a plane. And again, I'll call this point N. And we know that at N, the general position of this line, we can substitute in place of R, and dot it with a normal vector of a plane to make it equal six. And that will give us the value of lambda at this point. Then we'll substitute that value of lambda back into here and we'll get the coordinates where it intersects a plane. So I've substituted in the general position vector of a line. I'm dotting it with the normal vector and we'll make it equal six. So I'll work this out. We can simplify this left hand side. So we get 6 lambda is equal to 6, so therefore lambda must equal 1. And then if we substitute this value of lambda back into the equation of a line, we'll get n has coordinates 3, negative 1, and 4. And I'll include this on the diagram. Okay, so now we've got a point on the line, we need to take another point on the line and reflect it through the plane. And the only other point we can take is this position vector. So I'll call this point P, and we know it has these coordinates. So now we need to reflect it through the plane so it lies on line L2. And I'll call this point Q. And we know this line will be perpendicular to the plane. So I'll call this point point M. This is where PQ intersects the plane. So now we need to find the equation of this line. Well, we've got a position, and we know it's perpendicular to the plane, so its direction vector will be the same as the normal. So if we call P to Q L3, this will have equation, the position vector of 2, negative 3, and 1, and a direction vector of 1, 1, 1. And when this intersects a plane, we can substitute this general value of r into the equation of a plane and dot it with a normal vector to make 6, just like we did at point n. So at m, we'll dot the general position of L3 with a normal vector of a plane and make this equal to 6. We'll dot these two together. We'll simplify this expression. So 3 mu will equal 6, and mu will equal 2. So we know to go from P to M, mu is 2. Then to go from M to Q, mu must be 4. So at Q, mu equals 4. Then we'll substitute this into the line for L3. And we get the coordinates of 2 plus 4, minus 3 plus 4, and 1 plus 4. So these are the coordinates for Q. Again, I'll show this on the diagram. Okay, so now we've got two points on L2. We've got N and we've got Q. So we have a position vector, but now we need to work out the direction vector, which we can find from N to Q. This will be O to Q minus O to N. So this will give us a direction vector of 3, 2, 1. So finally, the equation of L2 will be a position vector, I'm choosing this point here, plus t, lots of our direction vector 
n to q. Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. If you did find that helpful, please like and subscribe. And you can download the full lesson from my website, mrmathematics.com. I'll leave a link in the description below.